My name is Ian Berg. This is my 365 project. Today, we are going to, I am going to make one of my holiday favorite meal, uh, meals, uh, desserts, because we have a small party that we're going to tomorrow night. And I'm going to kind of walk you through how I make it. Uh, I grew up believing that this was what pumpkin pie was, but it's actually pumpkin cheesecake. I'm assuming my mother changed the name because I didn't like the terms cheese and cake put together, I'm assuming. But yeah, I grew up believing this was a uh, pumpkin pie when it was actually pumpkin cheesecake, and it's an amazing, amazing meal. Or <laughs> meal. I can make it into a meal, but yeah. Um, so I'm going to walk you through it. We're going to start off with the crust. <clears throat> We're going to use a cup of butter, four cups of graham crackers, and like two-thirds a cup uh, of sugar for the base. And you're going to watch me make it in fast, fast motion. That doesn't make sense. No, it's not slow motion. So fast motion. And go. Okay, so now we have the, the crust set up, as you can see here. I took the, uh, the graham crackers and broke them into crumbs, and I mixed them with the sugar, and then I, I, I stirred them into the cup of butter. So I, I, I am telling you how much I'm using. This is a double recipe, so you can cut it in half and it'll work just fine. I just like it so much that I'm going to make lots. Okay, so now the next thing is you need a uh, 12 by, sorry, 13 by 9, 9 by 13 uh, uh, glass pan for this size. You can, you can do like a... Uh, a half size or whatever for the other recipe, but you need that ungreased, and then we're going to put this in, and then we're going to move on to the next step, okay? Okay, so the next step is, after we pressed it nicely into the ungreased pan, we're going to work on the, uh, the filling. Essentially it's going to be a few different layers and that's how it's amazing because it's just amazing. Um, yes, I know I just said it's amazing because it's amazing. Shut up. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, in the fridge. We're going to get the, the cream cheese because we're doing a double. We're going to use two blocks. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, so we're going to have two. Uh, we're going to have like a cup and a half of sugar and four eggs. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to beat the cream cheese and sugar together very well, and then we're going to beat in an egg at a time, and then pour it over the crust, and then we're going to bake it for 20 minutes. Watch carefully. Okay, so in the next step now, once we have it in the oven, we, have, we can get all the other stuff ready. We have another 20 minutes to wait. Um, not on this video, obviously. But then what you're going to do is you're going to take half a cup of water, you're going to take two of these little packages of Knox gelatin, and you're going to put the water into a bowl, and then dump the gelatin on top of the water and let it sit for at least five minutes. It's going to turn into like a thick gelatin that we're going to mix into uh, the pumpkin layer in a little bit. Then we're going to work on pumpkin layer is going to be two of these cans, a cup of sugar, six egg yolks, a tea, uh, sorry, two teaspoons of cinnamon, a uh, full teaspoon of salt, 
and a full cup of milk. Uh, this is going to be the pumpkin layer. We're going to mix it together um, in a saucepan over this, over some heat on the uh, actual stove. And, and then we're going to stir in the gelatin after we've finished uh, mixing that. And then we're going to chill it until it's syrupy. If, if it's not syrupy, we can't do the next step. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay, so the next step, while we are waiting for the pumpkin uh, mix to, to heat and to actually like boil and get thickened, uh, we're going to take the uh, egg whites that we kept. Important note, please keep the egg whites because we still use them. So we're going to use the egg whites. We're going to mix in about half a cup of uh, sugar and we're going to beat them. Basically, beating them until stiff. I know that sounds sick, but we're going to beat them until they're stiff. And then eventually, after the pumpkin mix has uh, gotten syrupy in the uh, in the fridge, we're going to uh, fold it in. So beating our uh, our base is almost done in the in the oven already. So that's awesome. So onto the egg whites. Okay, so now uh, the the pumpkin mix is boiling here. It's going all over the place, so you might want to get like a lid or something because it's kind of crazy. Uh, so now that that's done, we're going to go back to that gelatin that we have, we set up a little while ago. And we're going to mix, if you look at it, it should be kind of a gooey jelly kind of thing. You're gonna, we're going to be mixing that right in with this. And make sure we get all the jelly stuff. Oh, tasty. Kind of. Maybe mixing that in and then what we're going to do after that is we're going to put this whole entire container into the fridge and we're going to wait until it starts getting syrupy because we can't have the thick the thick or not putting the thick uh mixture onto the uh the base we're going to be uh putting a, a, a jelly or a, a gooey one so that's what we're doing next up here Okay, so the eggs are almost, or the egg whites are almost firm here. Uh, we got our base out of the oven, and we got the pumpkin uh, layer in the uh, fridge, uh, cooling down and getting syrupy. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to finish this up and make an awesome, amazing meal. Or make snack, meal, whatever. And we're back. Okay, so here's the deal. We have uh, some chilled pumpkin uh, mix here. Uh, we have our egg whites beaten up, and we have our base. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold the egg whites in, which means basically we are going to use the spatula and just mix it in in a folding way. This is a very, very important because if you don't do this, the world will explode. And I don't want the world to explode because this is what the recipe says and this is how you do it. So make sure you do it right, okay? I know it's kind of silly, but once we've got that, that folded and mixed it in, we're going to put it on here like on top of the actual base and then we're going to chill it uh, probably overnight eight hours until it's absolutely perfectly solid and you can cut it into squares and you can eat it it's really really good and we're almost done so watch So there you have it. Uh, we got a pumpkin cheesecake, as you can see. Um, on on second thought, you might want to only make half of what I made because this is possibly the largest pumpkin cheesecake I've ever made. I thought I had done this before, but I guess I hadn't done a double recipe like this before. So, like I say, you're gonna have to chill it for at least at least eight eight hours. Um, don't try eating it right now because it's still mulch. 
so make sure you uh, <clears throat> make sure you have it chilled and then once it is solid and you can cut it into squares it'll be great so Yay, pumpkin cheesecake! Woo! Okay, so now it's been like, uh... 18 hours, it's been overnight, it's like 2 o'clock the next day, and we have, if you look very closely, we have a solid pumpkin cheesecake. I would flip it over, but I don't want to lose it all, but it's still, you can see, it's quite solid here. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to do that yesterday. So now, like I say, you can cut it, cut it into, into actual uh, chunks, chunks, squares, uh, and then it's kind of like a brownie type idea where you eat it. It's not as much of a round cake like other cakes, but... Hey, it's good. It's amazing. And now we are off to the party. Oh, yeah.